welcome back to easy nails today i'm going to be using all kiara sky products to do this really really cute valentine's day nail set we have some french and some glitter nails and i'm going to show you guys how to create this super super easy uh, acrylic nail tutorial for valentine's day or really any time of year we are going to be using red. I think red is one of the hardest acrylic powders to use, but I got to say that this Kiara Sky powder was awesome. It gave me absolutely no issues. Super, super easy to use. It was super creamy, and what I loved about it is it stayed in place until you were ready to work with it. And yeah, I highly, highly recommend that. So I have been changing up my acrylic application lately, just testing things out, seeing what works for me best. And now here I am showing you guys that I'm measuring out a French cutter. I'm going to show you guys how I use that to create pretty easy French nail designs. I am using my Koopa Odorless Monomer, this really, really pretty heart ceramic dish and i'm going right in so you guys can see how easy this acrylic powder works again these are all kiara sky powders i'm using my size 12 acrylic brush i thought to switch things up a little bit so i am using a smaller acrylic brush today what i am doing is i'm building up that area that is going to be the nail bed for my french design I like to work backwards, you guys saw that. I like to turn my brush around, place the first bead about where I think my French is gonna be, and then I use a second bead to um, flush in that cuticle area. And then now um, I am just gonna take this cutter. You wanna use it when the acrylic is a little bit matte. When it starts to turn a little bit matte, that's a good time to use it. Um, yeah, it's easier. You don't want to use it when it's too wet or when it's too dry. So I'm doing this and it didn't cut out everything. So you guys are seeing I'm using the sides of the cutter to remove the excess acrylic around the smile line. You don't have to get absolutely everything off. We are not doing a clear in that area. So if you are filling around the French with a solid color, don't worry about getting everything off, just the majority. And because this monomer is just amazing, I have time to go in and smoothen out my um, smile line area even more. So I am taking an X-Acto knife here. Please be careful when you are using this. They're really, really sharp. So I'm just scraping off any excess acrylic. Um, the tips that I'm using here are the XXL um, Extendo tips. And I just took that and stuck that straight into the nail bed. This is a new practice hand that I recently purchased from Amazon. If you guys have not seen that video where I compare expensive versus cheap practice hands from Amazon, make sure you go and check that out. I will link it in the cards below. It was a super, super informative video and surprisingly the cheaper hand, well the mid-range hand, was the one that I decided to go with, the $50 one. Um, yeah, so if you guys have not seen that video, check it out. So I am changing up my acrylic application a little bit. What I like to do is I like to place the bead on the middle area of the nail and then I like to mess with the front part of the bead first because that is the part that dries faster. So I like to kind of tuck in the sides the first thing I do and then I take my brush and I push the front of the bead kind of more frontwards if that makes sense um so tuck in the sides and then push the front of the bead more to the front um and then i start padding so instead of pulling the acrylic i know i see a lot of people do that and it works awesome for them but whenever i pull the acrylic i no matter how much of a gentle hand i have unless i'm like at the tip area or right at the cuticle bead like here 
I just pull off way too much, no matter how gentle I am. So I find that padding helps me out so much, unless I'm in a super, super small area, like the tip of the nail or the cuticle. Like I just find that the padding motion, starting at the front of the bead, I work that forward a little bit until the acrylic becomes a bit more moldable. I've learned weighting helps so much. Just let your bead set up a little bit and then the application is gonna be so much smoother. So I like to take the front of the bead. First of all, I place down my bead, I tuck in my sides towards the center and then I like to pat it. Um, now that is when I'm doing a full cover, right? So like for what I'm doing here, I literally took the front of the brush, um, picked up a little bit and then I'm going around that smile line with the tip of my brush okay um this is difficult it's not easy but if you just use small amounts of acrylic and go around that smile line you'll be fine now if you do get something on the smile line that is totally okay you can come in and file that nail bed area and then you'll get a super super crisp line so no worries at all if you go over the smile line area but can you guys see how awesome this red is it was super, super easy to work with. Probably one of the easier reds I've worked with. Awesome from Kiara Sky. So kudos to them. Um, yeah, so I am just picking up the acrylic here with the tip of my brush only to get into those really, really fine areas. And then I'm using the tip of my brush after I wipe it off to smooth off any red that might have gotten on my smile line. So yeah, I find this way of applying acrylic easier, like the padding motion versus the swiping. I don't know, it has been working for me. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, so I'm just filling in this line. Look how lovely this red was to work with. And this is a super, super easy, easy set to do for Valentine's Day. Um, I would love this all year round. I love red, so always a great, great nail color to use now i'm taking this beautiful glitter i don't remember what number this was but this is from nail supply glamour um in my recent haul i showed this glitter and it is like um it's a red glitter but it has like a pinky undertone in there so it makes the red look a little bit more pink so perfect for valentine's day I am just taking this glitter and putting it right on top of that wet acrylic around the smile line. And then I am adding some to the ring finger as well. And you guys, this monomer is great. Like with the acetone, it just sets up perfectly. And then if I want to do something like this, like adding glitter, literally two minutes later, it's still moldable enough that I can do that without adding in clear. So super awesome. Um, yeah, I just did like a fade there on the ring finger and let me know you guys how is your acrylic application going? Do you guys still test out different methods stuff like that? Um, so yeah, I have been testing out different methods You guys can see how I'm doing this here So see like I tuck in the sides and then I play with the front first because that is the part that dries first and I just have been being more patient and waiting after I apply that bead, I don't go right in and I really find that it makes such a difference in the smoothness of the application. If you hate filing like me, um, take more time on your application. This took me about 15 minutes, 20 minutes um, total. So I sped this up two times as fast. And yeah, I think that that is a really, really good time. I'm happy with that. Um, you guys can see how I'm patting it. Do you see like the padding motions I'm using? Like I'm not really pulling it. I'm just patting it into place and then always um, sliding my brush down the sidewalls to make sure that I don't have any excess acrylic. Now the only parts that I did slide are these two top beads. So I've been doing one large bead down, like almost starting in the middle of the nail, pushing it up towards the top of the nail, patting it down, and then I've been using two little beads, one right on top of my previous bead and one pushing it into the cuticle area. And then those beads I have been sliding down and I find that this application has been working really, really well for me. 
So yeah, and you guys can see how smooth the acrylic is. I've been really proud of myself with this. So let me know if you guys see a difference, if you like this way better or not. I am using the shop towels um, to um, soak up my monomer. I got those from Amazon. So highly recommend them. Um, they're super, super absorbent. I cut them up into little pieces and I used two here and it worked great. So I do recommend those to pick up your monomer. This um, pink is awesome if you guys are struggling with clear. And you do guys like like the padding motions versus the swiping motions of placing acrylic. Like if you prefer to pat it in place, this clear is awesome. It is from a company called CV Nails. They're based out of Los Angeles. Um, and they don't have an online store, but they did start selling on Amazon. So the consistency of it is different. It takes a while to get used to. But basically, like you pat this, right? You don't swipe it. You guys can see how I'm patting, 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 patting until I get to the tip. And I don't know. I really like it. It has a consistency like putty almost. So I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, it, it, this is a light translucent pink. It's not the clear, but it works just fine for me. And I really do enjoy it. So as you guys can see, I'm just patting, patting. So I used a big bead near the middle to top of the nail and then now this is the bead where I swipe more so I tuck I press the top of the bead to flatten that out first and then I do side side center so I swipe the side first other side and then the center to keep that apex there in the back one third of the nail to give our nail strength and you guys like to file these nails took me 10 like probably five minutes so awesome awesome i love these nails i hope you guys did as well make sure you are subscribed to the channel like the video and comment down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye